pristine nature, animals in their native environment enjoying the wild, free from any obstruction or man-made distraction. This is what wilderness is meant to be. The only thing you may not realize is that this land is actually reclaimed acreage from oil and coal mining. Lands that are often said to be irredeemable because of the resource extraction that has become so controversial in recent decades. You know, unfortunately, the oil and gas companies get a lot of negative press. And Bill Barrett Corporation is a very friendly-minded company that spends a lot of money and time in ensuring that, you know, we do it the right way. We do it cleanly, or we do it environmentally friendly, and still being able to develop the resources that has been given to us in this area. The Bill Barrett Corporation isn't a name that many of us are familiar with, but as public land users and energy consumers, we're all influenced by them. Here in Nine Mile Canyon, northeast of Price, Utah, their actions have had a dramatic effect, particularly for recreationists. Nine Mile Canyon is actually 40 miles long and houses some of the most amazing Native American rock art in the entire country. It's also been the hot spot for an environmental battle that has painted oil and gas producers as destructive forces that erase historical treasures without thinking twice. That picture, while making good sound bites for land closure on the evening news, is actually quite far from the truth. Something recreations that come to Nine Mile Canyon on bicycle, by car, or ATV can tell you firsthand. Ironically, without the oil and gas industry roads, they wouldn't be able to enjoy it at all. When we go in on a site where oil's been extracted or coal's been mined, we can actually bring it back to a better condition than it was prior to the original activity. I don't pretend that we're doing better than Mother Nature. We're just expediting the time frame a little bit. Given 150 years, Mother Nature would probably replicate what we do in three or four years. What was once mine tailings in scarred earth is now restored as if no one had ever worked there. Based on years of experience and millions of dollars in research, they've learned how to reclaim the land at a pace that would impress even Mother Nature. The reclamation has gone beyond just planting some trees, however. The rock art, which has been the central focus of the debate, has been protected as well. Okay, right here we're at the famous Great Hunt panel, and the main road ran right close to the panel, and BBC uh, spent a substantial amount of money to relocate the road and, and get it away from the panel. Uh, we've spent approximately five million dollars on improving the roads within the Nine Mile Canyon area. To eliminate the dust, we've applied an environmental uh, friendly uh, lignin sulfonate on the road to help alleviate the dust. 30 years ago, it was 16 hours to get to Cottonwood Canyon and out in two flats. You and I did it yesterday in a couple of hours. The roads are vastly improved. The progress in Nine Mile has had a major impact for the recreating community. Roads that were impassable now allow ATVs to explore and cyclists to access lands unreachable just a few years ago. Reclamation has shown how even heavily used areas can be restored in a few years, as opposed to what some experts claimed would take centuries. Improved roads have led to full recreation parks that have also been funded by royalties and severance taxes from oil and gas. No one wants to see our Western heritage destroyed, but few have gone to such lengths to preserve it. There are many of us who enjoy public lands in many different ways and if used responsibly and left in a natural state after we've left, there should be little reason for discord. That's the goal of these reclamation projects, to show the utmost respect for the land while using it at the same time. A lot of people depend on natural gas for jobs. Even if you're not employed within the oil and gas sector, somehow, some way, that money that's being generated off of oil and gas is going to come back into the economy. If you hadn't lived or been there, you can't appreciate what a phenomenal 
And I mean that, a phenomenal improvement we have at Nine Mile today. Believe it or not, it's a direct result of energy development. On the trailhead, I'm Don Dunwell.